what's going on everybody another day same old project how about that no it's just <laughs> you didn't think it was real did you <laughs> look at this look at the details even got my license plate number what a beautiful beautiful car i want to thank angel for uh, making this for me and sending it to me that that is actually really awesome and it it really couldn't come at a better time I'm kind of sad today sort of look at the detail to the carpet on the interior it's beautiful it's truly beautiful thank you so now for the real Corvette <laughs> the real C3 is right here folks I know it's a little dark but uh, hopefully the camera will get itself adjusted I've got her all cleaned up and uh, I, I hope I'm making the right decision I really do. I don't. I mean, I feel like I am, but I also feel like I'm uh, selling myself short here. It is a beautiful car. It has come such a long way in such a short amount of time. It really has. So it saddens me to say that uh, I listed it for sale today, and I guess we'll see what happens. You're not going to believe what I listed it for. I think I listed it for 14,000? No. How about 12,000? Nope. How about 10,000? If you guessed 10,000, you're right on the money. 10 grand, folks. I've got Man, you sure I should be opening a dealership? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh Man, I let I let these projects really uh, really get me, man. I really do. I love projects like this, and uh, I'm telling you, ten grand is a steal because I paid what seventy five hundred for it the way it was, still in original condition. All this work that we've done to this car, all this work that you followed, Mike, Tim, myself, and uh, I think I'm going to sacrifice the car. Let me show you what I'm going to sacrifice it for. And right here is the reason why. I'm doing it for the shop. I'm also doing it for you guys. I'm hoping we get a fairly quick sale out of this. I mean, 10 grand is quite honestly dirt cheap for a C3 that's in this good condition. It's had this much work done to it. Um, it's not perfect, you know, but she's one hell of a daily driver. So what led me to this decision was I started adding up how much all this stuff is going to cost. Lights alone, guys. I got to get uh I got to get several lights. I'm probably going to put like four here, four here, and then probably another four above these doors. They'll have to hang pretty high to keep out of the way of the door here. But uh that'll be 12 lights. Those are going to run me about $250 for some pretty decent LEDs. The lift, the lift that's going to be in here is around 3000 and that's that's just to get started that doesn't include my uh dealer's license application i gotta pay a cpa to go over my financial statements and validate to the state that i am capable of opening owning and maintaining a dealership bond garage insurance uh there there's a lot that goes into this guys a lot that goes into this it's going to cost a ton of money so as much as i love this car I love this channel more and the car was great it's been fun but at the end of the day let's keep it real this is a toy and the good thing about having it is i have it to get rid of i have it to liquidate so i can get my hands on some uh some of that good old green cashola so not only do we need all that other stuff we need cars we need content what good is all this stuff if i don't have any money to go out and buy any cars and uh, do some rebuilds and stuff with you guys. So that's the idea, is we're going to let this go in hopes that ten grand will be enough to uh, get us started. We've got a lot of what we need already. We just need some inventory, and oh, we need a license, <laughs> basically, and a lift. We got we to gotta get this stuff going, guys, and I, I'm showing you how serious, how serious I am about it. Most of you know how much I love this car, and... Uh, 
I didn't think I'd sell it if my life depended on it, but uh, you know, there's more important things and that's what we're gonna focus on. So I wanted to take this opportunity to clarify, uh, uh, seems some misconceptions or maybe just, I didn't clearly uh, articulate what I was trying to say about the dealership, but I wanna clear some things up for you real quick. I guess I could take these off now, it's not so bright in here. Um, so I'm planning on getting a wholesale dealer's license and sadly this shop is not going to work for what I was trying to do. I was hoping that I could get a uh, wholesale dealer's license out of this shop. Unfortunately, um, I went to the city of Dell City just to see about getting a water spigot outside and a garbage can and they want me to pay all kinds of fees and stuff to have a fire marshal come out, go through the whole place. They, I mean, it's ridiculous what they, and I said, you know what? I said, how about this? Forget the water. Let's just do a trash can. I just need a trash can. And they said the same thing for trash. I've got to pay the fire marshal to come out here along with a ton of other fees. And I was just like, this is crazy. Uh, so you know what? I'm just not I'm not gonna screw with Dell City I'm not gonna worry about water and I'm not gonna worry about a garbage can through them I can get a garbage can from somebody else and that's what I'm gonna do and I'll just bypass the city altogether And basically what I'll do with this shop is I will use this for my projects and things like that and uh, That way I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not gonna be getting in trouble I'm not gonna be doing anything with this place that I'm not supposed to there's nothing wrong with me using it to work on my projects as long as I'm not selling anything out of it making any kind of money out of it, paying people to do anything out of it. And that, that's just how it's gonna have to be. I'm still happy with the uh, with the shop. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely thrilled. Sorry, I saw the motion detector looking at me and I was like, dang, <laughs> I don't know why that freaked me out. Um, now with a wholesale license, I can sell cars out of my house as long as I have one room dedicated to car sales. And I already have a room dedicated to my business there anyway for making my YouTube videos, editing, producing, filing, all of that stuff. I've already got that room. So I've already got what I need to be able to get a wholesale license in the state of Oklahoma. Unfortunately, we just can't use this shop to do it, but there's nothing stopping me from using this shop with a lift and everything to do my own stuff in and then I can take them back to the house where I can turn around and basically sell them to Weird Beard, Mike, or really anybody else. And, you know, everybody makes money that way. And, you know, some of these, new, maybe there'll be some new people that show up, new car lots, It'd be fun to work with some other people as well. Get everybody on video and we can show you still the process of getting insured, bonded, licensed, and uh, legitimate to sell cars in the state of Oklahoma at least. It's not that expensive, especially once you have a place of business already established, which now I've, I've got home, which is a place of business. And then this uh, project shop, I guess. This is where all the big stuff happens or, or will happen. So that is pretty much it. I just wanted to update everybody on what my plans are, what's going on. And I want to make sure you understand, even if I pl apply for the dealership, there is no guarantee the state will give me a license. Um, I don't want anybody to think that it's as simple as filling out some paperwork and being done. Now, I, I will pass the criminal background check, the uh, uh, OSBI checks, all that stuff. There's no issue there. I'll, I'll have no issues with the income, um, with the financial aspects of it. I, I should have zero issues at all, but it's totally up to the state whether or not they want to give me a license. So I'll do my best to make this happen. And if it doesn't work out that way, then it doesn't work out that way. We continue doing what we're doing and you know, we will be fine and the channel will continue and life will go on. So I guess I'm gonna get out of here. I got a few little minor things to do to the Corvette. I'm gonna replace all the spark plugs again, adjust the air fuel mixture, make sure the timing is good on it. I gotta bleed this left front caliper. It's pulling to the right when I hit the brakes. Um, so I'm certain that we've got the left front caliper, probably has a little bit of air in it. Get that bled out and uh, yeah. And then I guess it's ready to show, and uh, we'll see if it sells. Comment below, everybody. Tell me if you think ten grand is a fair price for this car. I'm gonna miss her, and I hope some of you are gonna miss her too. But you, know, you got to do what you got to do in life, man. This is a huge opportunity that's looking me right in the face, and I'm not gonna be that greedy guy that's gonna be like, I'm gonna keep all my toys and I'm gonna find someone else to pay pay my way. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, Again, I want to give a shout out to Angel for this car. This was amazing, especially considering like I just got it today and today's the day I decided I was going to I was going to sell it. And it's crazy, folks. Look at this. 
I don't know how well this comes out. Let's see if we can get some light on here. It's hard to see, but the license plate actually matches the plate on my vet. How about that? Talk about detail. I love it. And I promised Angel for all the hard work, I would give his company a shout out. I believe it's his company. And it is called ANJ, the uh, ampersand sign, the and sign, ANJ Resin Kits on Facebook. I'm going to put a link in the description. We were having trouble with the link earlier. Hopefully it'll work now. I'll have a link in the description for you. Go check out A&J Resin Kits on Facebook. And if nothing else, give them a big thumbs up. Tell them Randy sent you and tell them he did an excellent job on that vet. That thing will sit in front of me whenever I get a desk in here. And uh, I'll be able to look at it. And I'll be able to uh, look back and have fond memories of uh, putting this thing together with Mike and Tim, the exhaust guy, for you guys so that, uh, you know, you had something fun to watch and I had something fun to drive for a little while. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you as always. Seriously, sincerely, thank you all for making everything that I'm doing today possible. I couldn't do it without you. I love you guys. I truly appreciate you. Stay safe out there. I will catch you very soon in the next one.